Hello, hello. Hope we're having a good afternoon. Oh, dearie me, dearie me, dearie me. Uh, we are, I'm hoping not, going to have some audio issues today. My, I'm looking at the audio mixer levels on this, and for some reason my microphone seems to be claiming that it's picking up sound on the desktop. I don't see how that's possible, given the fact that the desktop is definitely coming out of my headphones. Um, so we'll see. If there are issues, do let me know. Equally, if this has caused the levels to go bananas, do let me know, and I'll see what I can do about it. Uh, but we shall see. Okie doke. So, uh, it's Wednesday, so I'm trying to get into the habit of this being a lunchtime chat plus board game. So, we are returning to one we've played already, because um, I need to I need to trial out a couple of other ones off stream to see how well they play before I actually do them as a stream, because when I play a board game for a lunch chat, it needs to be something I can play one or more rounds of in 45 minutes. And there's a lot of really good big box games out there, but you're just not going to be able to play them in 45 minutes. Um, when I did Lords of Waterdeep, that was a stretch to get that done in 45 minutes. Um, so I really had to rush through that. Uh, so what we're going to be playing today is we're going to be returning to Small World. Um, so let's get into the game and I will do a recap of how this works. Hey Anya, how are we doing? Great to see you here. Uh, I hope your day is going well. Um, I hope it's slightly warmer than it is here. Here in the UK, we've definitely got a cold snap. Um, not snowing, it was snowing on Monday. Clear sky today, which means it is bloody freezing. It really is. Um, so uh, yeah, trying to stay warm here. Trying to stay warm. Uh, without making my heating cost a bloody fortune. So, what we're doing today is we're going to be playing some Small World. Um, so, how this works for those who have not seen... Oh, let's see. I, I'm doing well. Really, really cold here, sadly. I unfortunately can't watch, but I'll be lurking. That is appreciated. Lurking is grand. Uh, thank you so much for it. Um, I will try and make my commentary... Uh, exciting and not just yeah here 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 and another thing that you can't see <laughs> lurking works if you're listening as well that's grand i will try and be soothing with my voice <laughs> uh cool cool right um my work is audio i say oh that sucks so, i mean hopefully interesting for you but no uh the lurk is appreciation and thank you for it so, for those who have not seen how Small World works, it's kind of Risk-ish without being as kind of horrendous as Risk. I'm saying this as a man who's never actually played Risk, um, but uh, I have heard it is kind of brutal uh, and intense for some people. So, how this works, you're playing fantasy races, and essentially you have a race and an adjective. So in this case, I could choose the Fortified Elves. And when you play the board game version, you basically just randomly shuffle and see what you're going to end up with. And each time you get to choose a race to play. So these are the starting options available here. Um, so Fortified Elves, they have fortification tokens that make stuff easier to defend. And Elves, um, if someone attacks me, I... Uh, don't lose as many L's. That's pretty cool. Commando Tritons could be useful. Commando, you may conquer a region with one less. That should probably say fewer to uh, race tokens than normal. A minimum of one is still required. Your Tritons may conquer all coastal regions, those bordering a sea or lake, at one less than normal. Uh, that sounds like a good combo. I'm not going to lie. To be honest, I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to read through all of these. I'm just going to dive straight into this. That is going to be my starting. Right, so I'm playing against three bots. Um, the when you come on for the first time, you have to come on from an edge. So, uh, assuming it is me first, it looks like I am. I'm just going to move me, actually. I'm going to do this for the first time because there's some useful stuff in the bottom left here that you can't see. So I'm going to, and I hope this doesn't work, pop myself up to here. It means you can't see, uh, well, you can't see their scores anyway. But that's fine. Uh, so you can see all the stuff in the bottom left. At some point, I will customize this so I can hop myself around into all the corners, but I haven't done that yet. Right, so I've got to come on from an edge, and it's not going to cost me a lot of tokens. Um, 
Again, for the benefit of people who have never seen this before, the default cost to conquer a region is two tokens. And it's essentially plus one for each extra thing that is in that location. Um, but as I'm commando, uh, as my people are going commando, it's one fewer token uh, by default and one fewer still, minimum of one, if I'm next to water. So that means I can conquer that. That should cost me three. It's going to cost me one. That is just awesome. So let's conquer a load of places uh, for not a lot. I think I'm going to be able to just do a lot of conquering here, which is just a really nice start. It's going to get me a load of points uh, straight off the bat. Well, I mean, I spread myself really thin, so I'm probably going to get massacred when uh, my opponent's coming. I spread myself so ridiculously thin. But that is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places I conquered. So that will get me nine gold at the start of this. So it's not a long term strategy, this one. Did I miscount? It's 10. Okay. So they're just going to come on and massacre me. Absolutely massacre me. So they're pillaging orcs, so they get plus one gold for each area they conquered in that turn. I think they have to be occupied to get a bonus. So they got a lot of money for not a huge amount of conquering. But it's a nice combo, that one. It really is. Wizards get advantages in places with magic, that is, these sorts of things. And forest, I think, get some plus one gold for owning forests. So in this case, that is a really nice win for them. And let's see who our last one is going to be. They are going to be the, and I'll read it because you can't see it, Hill Amazon. Hills get plus one gold for being in hills. And Amazons get a plus four tokens they can attack with, but they can't defend with them. So they can go quite yeah. aggressive. I do apologise. The fact I've gone four player means everything's a little bit smaller. So if you, you are watching the video on this, it is a little trickier to follow. So you may just have to full screen this one. Right, let's have a look. So I have no tokens. I have no tokens with which to do anything. Because essentially every time you get conquered, you lose one token permanently and any excess go back into your pool to redeploy next turn. But because I spread myself so thin with one token in each place, every time I lost a location, uh, I lost that token. So there's literally nothing I can do here. I can't conquer anything. So in this very high risk strategy I'm doing, I'm actually going to redeploy. So how this works is essentially you choose these races with these adjectives. And because you essentially bleed a token every time you lose a fight, um, eventually you're going to run out of tokens to play. In that case, what you need to do is you need to go and decline, you turn your tokens over, you can't play with them anymore, but you still score gold for them, and then next turn you get to bring in a brand new race. And you'll probably go through two or three races in a 10 turn game. Uh, now there's nothing I can do, so there's no point in me actually playing my turn, because there's nothing to play. So I'm just going to redeploy right from the start. Uh, so not that I'm going to go to decline right at the start, yeah, I want to send my active race into decline because uh, there's nothing I can do with them other than score some gold. So we do that. I said you spend my entire turn going into decline. Um, apologies, I said redeploy earlier when I meant decline. Um, I feel because of where I am on the screen, I should be looking downwards. Maybe I should have moved my screen with the game down to this one so it looks like I'm intensely looking at it. I could look at it on my preview. I could look at it down there rather than looking up here, which looks kind of weird. Um, so they declined it as, as well. Okay. Oh no! And when you've got four players, or generally quite a lot of players, you get a mixture of uh, people in decline, people not in decline, you know, ebbs and flows and control and stuff like that, which is kind of nice and tactical. Um, whereas if you're two player or three player, generally the second one person goes into decline, everyone else goes into decline as well because they want to kind of they don't want to be caught off guard later on. 
like I said, you know, I've never played Risk. I probably would enjoy it, but I know some people just get super, super aggressive with it, um, which frankly doesn't sound fun. Um, I maybe should try it at some point. Right, I've got to choose a new race here. So, Fortified Elves we looked at before, but now there are four gold on this. Because people have passed on selecting this, they've got to put gold tokens on there, which means... I actually would get a lot of money just for choosing these guys, which is kind of cool. The fortifications are nice. Berserk Dwarves, I can roll the reinforcement die, which gives me extra kind of power on every move. And if I can get mines, I get extra gold. I mean, that's cool, but I wouldn't have many of them. I'd get three plus four, so I'd get seven tokens. Swamp Dwarves is tempting. Bonus for swamps and skeletons. Every two people you defeat, you get an extra token. That's cool. And I mean, I'm always a fan of sorcerers. Sorcerers can turn one person to your cause uh, if there's one person on a territory alone. Uh, one per player, you can turn them to be yours. I quite like that. I'm tempted to do these guys. Bit of a wax are just defenses and stuff. So. Let's do that. There's lots of players. I think they would not be expecting some sorcerers to come in and just kick their asses. Now, I need to take out some Amazons here because they are just... They got 13 gold last time, which is just... It's just too many, frankly. It's just too many. So, so I'm going to use my magic wand here and turn... Who are we going to go for? This person into being a sorcerer. And I can also use my magic wand to turn this person to be a sorcerer. I can't get to um, the orcs. I talked rubbish earlier. I said, oh yeah, they went into decline as well. That was me. I am clearly very tired. The orcs just did a very swift turn, uh, but they're gonna burn out soon. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, I think, probably keep hammering these guys, uh, the Amazons. They're not guys at all. Let's, I think I do just need to keep hitting them hard because otherwise they, they, they're kind of brutally tough. What, we'll take four to take on that. Let's, that's a good stronghold to hold. Let's do that. And then I think my last person is probably not going to be successful. Oh, they were. Okay, that's cool. Right. I need to defend some places a bit. Because I don't particularly want to lose places to the Amazons again. Let's leave it like that. Done. So I get some monies for my remaining Tritons. I then get a load for my Sorcerers. Getting 11. Quite nice. But not nearly as much as the Amazons got last turn. They are... Oh, they're getting aggressive with the Amazons. also been quite defensive they are not leaving one person exposed to get turned into a sorcerer which is a shame nine gold i don't know how i'm doing this i think i'm doing okay but all places it's difficult to tell because there while it is keeping track of everyone's gold in the background you don't get told who's on what until the end they're still playing their wizards and they left the wizard exposed here so if they don't get attacked by the Amazons, that will become one of mine shortly. Leaving people exposed for the sorcerers, that's weird. Generally, if you play this in person, you find that people get incredibly defensive against the sorcerers. They don't leave a single person exposed kind of on the edge of their territory under any circumstances, because you know, you know they're going to get immediately defeated. And that's the thing, you know, even strong... De uh, look, if I take this... Well, let's take that instead, because it's better. This place would normally cost me four tokens to take. Two, plus an Amazon, plus a mountain. And I just get, because it's one person undefended. Bosh. I, it, uh, it was an odd choice to leave that undefended. It just seems silly. But, you yeah, know, maybe it's the AI. Maybe the AI is just not that good. Which is weird. Right, let's take another place and let's uh, defend ourselves. No one is in decline, to my knowledge, so I don't need to worry about defending the edges of territory. I think literally I just got to defend against the Amazons, but I think the Amazons will go into decline anyway. 
I'm gonna take a gamble and assume they are the Amazons are going to go into decline. So I'm not gonna worry about defending those places. I'm just gonna defend against the wizards and the orcs. Because I think with the Amazons having basically not I've not been using my bivouacs. I have a whole ability here that I'm not using. Why am I why am I an idiot? I mean, answers on the postcard on this one. Um I got so obsessed with being the sorcerers, I get to place five bivouacs, five like encampments each turn that counts as extra defense. I mean, I'm a moron. Orcs are still playing. Okay, okay, I guess because no one's defeating them. I'm gonna have to go to war with the orcs in a second. I would say wizards are gonna go into decline, Amazons are gonna go into decline. Wizards is a maybe, but I think they would. I would if it would be. No, they're still playing. They're still playing. Okay. They think there's something valuable in keeping going. Each their own, each their own. And they've left the wizard undefended. In this big freaking mountain over there. Amazon's, yeah, 100%. It was always going to happen. They're nothing to fight with. Right, I'm going to steal that wizard. I am going to... How many guys do I have? Do I have enough to take this? I do. And then I can turn an orc to my cause. And... The last place, I have one person that's not going to do anything. But on your last move of the turn, you get to roll the reinforcement die. Which could have... It's got three blank sides, a one, a two, and a three. And it essentially adds that much power to your final move of the turn. Which is handy, but it rarely pays off. Oh, no. Okay, I need to be super defensive now. Or wizards might keep going, they might not, but the Amazons could come from freaking anywhere. That's the thing. The player who's playing the Amazons can come on from the borders at any of these borders. So I need to try and defend my territories well because they could just hit me and hit me hard. Um, and I'd rather not lose people. But, you know, we've got to do the best we can here. Um, let's try and defend that. I think the orcs might keep playing. That's a nice amount of money. That's a nice amount of money. Orcs, we still going? Okay, still being aggressive. I lost a person. Okay. Hey, I've got one Triton left. I mean, I'm not too worried if I have to go into decline again and lose. No, two Tritons. I'm not too worried if I have to go into decline again and I have to lose my remaining Tritons. But wizards are still going. Okay. The thing is, they're going to risk going to the situation where they don't have a chance to actually play with their new race particularly well before the end of the game. Okay, they're going up there with their new race. They're not trying to fight me. I mean, I like that. But, um... Interesting move, because I'm just mopping up gold each turn. Right, let's conquer some regions. What have I got here? So, Undefended Wizard. I'll have him. Uh, I can't get to the dwarves. Is there a, an undefended orc? I mean, I could... It's going to be a gamble, but it would be great if I could do it, wouldn't it? Actually, no, I can take that. Let's take that. And then turn an orc to my cause as well. And now we defend, we defend, we defend. So let's defend all these places against the bad guys. Honestly, I don't think the wizards are going to keep playing. I mean, I keep saying that, and they keep doing. They keep carrying on, which is nuts. It really is. I can't believe how many people have actually managed to use the sorcerer ability to, to turn to my cause. Normally, you get a couple, and then they get super defensive. Really? They're still playing? Oh, no! 
And they've left an orc undefended there, so that guy's going to be mine as well. I've never seen them play like this before. Yeah. Wizards are still playing. Okay. You can't hold... I mean... This is about to be turn seven. You could try and push all the way to the end with one race, but it it seems kind of kind of crazy. I mean, ridiculous. That's I try and avoid. I'm, I'm trying to be better and not using the word crazy. Um, uh, so I need to be better at that. But it is ridiculous that they're trying this. Right. Let's my turn. right. Let's keep going. I'm going to turn another wizard to my cause. I'm going to turn an orc to my cause. I'm going to turn a dwarf to my cause. And I'm going to keep fighting it if I can. Do I just spread myself even more thin? Thinly? I could try. I mean, I could take that from just my two guys. Is there anywhere I can with a minimal roll? I mean, not really. Everything's going to cost me something. I'll try and fight the orcs once. I mean, the, the, the odds aren't horrendous. Let's try it. Oh, no. no. Okay. Right, redeploy, redeploy. Bolts to my forces. Surely the wizards don't keep that. Surely they don't. So let's stick some troops there. Let's chop my little encampments to defend myself there. That's probably a bit much there. Probably gone a bit bananas. But maybe not. I mean, they are playing really aggressively. Nah, let's leave it there. Okay. All the monies, all the monies. a lot. I don't know why they're not trying to take me out. And the orc's still playing. Right, there we go. They went into decline. They went into decline. Do I go into decline? The orcs... I'm not going to have enough people to really fight the orcs. And I'm kind of running out of steam. So I think I go into decline and then I get one turn to just do a big hit at the end and hopefully mop up some other ones because, yeah, let's do that. Uh, we have, in theory, ads in a second. I'm just going to plow through them because actually it's not been displaying a lot of ads to people. So uh, apologies if you miss some of my glorious commentary while the ads run, but I... I get the feeling based on the way it's being, you're not actually going to see any ads anyway. Right, going to deploy. Boom. Now someone's going to take the fortified skeletons, because regardless of how good or bad they are, you get six gold just for picking them. Are they going to take it just for the money? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Oh, no. So I'm going to get one turn to just try and get as much money as I can. There's, there's no point taking the skeleton. The skeletons are good. For every two people you oh, defeat, no. you get one new token. But that kind of relies on a long-term strategy of you defeating and then getting more and more troops. If I'd have picked them, I wouldn't have time to use the new troops, so it's pointless. So I think I want these merchant humans, I think, because the merchant means you get one bonus coin for every region you occupy, and the humans get plus one gold for every farm they occupy. So if I can grab a couple of farms, like at the top here, or I'd have to hit, hit hit my own people to do that one. So I think if I come in here and get that farm, that farm, hopefully, I can defeat a few orcs to do that. 
Um, there's not really a better farmlandy place to go to though, so I think I'm going to do this anyway and see how it goes. So let us just smite that guy. I mean, really, I just want to get some basic territories because I would run to that, never get to that one. So I'm just going to get that. And let's take a punt on trying to do this. It's, it's not going to happen. Oh no! It's kind of the best thing I could do. It's, I mean, I honestly don't care where my people go. There's not another turn for me. I'm not gonna lie, I think I've won this. It just seems incredibly improbable <laughs> that I haven't won this when I'm getting like 17 gold a turn. Oh no! They played the Orcs all the way to the end. They, they, they had some really good turns at the start, and then because they didn't go into decline and come on with someone else, just didn't play terribly well. Played them all right, but there's just no way that. Well, they are they oh, no. swamped. Okay. All right. That's a nice turn. That's a very nice turn. Okay, right. Let's have a look. Thank you very much. I will take that high score. I just improved my ranking with my score. I didn't even know there were rankings in it. Weird. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, second highest of the day of people who play this app. That's kind of cool. Liking that. Right, I think we've got time. How long have I got? I've got about 15 minutes. I think I can maybe play a quick second game. And I'm just going to do heads up. I'm just going to go... Let's... I'm going to go me versus one person. What's this? Is that play... I don't know what that does. Oh, I'm just going to be them. What? Oh, is this the first player token? Okay, so you get to randomise that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put some expansions on. I forgot I even had expansions I could put on. Let's do that. Um, right, let's let's play again. Me versus this one person. Who? You can't set a difficulty for the bots, which is odd. Most games like this, you can set a difficulty. Uh, Okie doke. Right. They are Dragon Master Giants. Uh, so, I know Dragon Master means you get the Dragon Token, who essentially you can use the Dragon once per turn, as long as he's accompanied by someone to point him in the right direction. A person and a Dragon can smite anything, regardless of how strong they are, which is cool. Um, right, what do we got here? Uh, wealthy, just seven money at the start, very nice. Homunculi. Okay, this is from an expansion. Each time a homunculo race to combo is bypassed, in addition to a victory coin, the homunculus token is automatically added to the combo. So essentially, if I didn't pick these now, the next person who does pick them will get six tokens rather than five. That that's 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 weird. <laughs> that's really odd. Okay, well, we've got heroic dwarves. Heroic, get you get two undefeatable tokens each turn. That's very nice. Commando sorcerers, we've do, they're probably a good option, but I don't want to do them again. Mounted halflings, that hilarious image. I assume they're like on donkeys or like giant goats or something like that. Um, they can pop up anywhere, and you get minus one for conquering hills or farms. That could be fun. Imperial wizards, are the, for each region in excess of three. Which your Imperial Troops occupy, you get a bonus. So you've got to spread yourself quite thin to do that. And Historian Dwarf, uh, Historian Orcs. One bonus coin for each race in decline at the time you select them. Okay, so there's no point selecting them now. I'm going to go for Mounted Harpling. 
it uh, because I love the mental image. Not gonna lie, I just like the mental image. So I need hills and hills and farmland. So hills and farmland, I think we wanna pop up here. We're gonna get that, we're gonna get that, we're gonna get that. Uh, those are not hills, but I could keep going. Let's go here if we can. Okay. My Hobbit holds are automatically defended. They can't hurt me there. So I'm just going to defend myself here. There we go. That's a nice turn. I think... Oh, is it... My... Oh, it's... it's not bonus. I misread it. It's not bonus money for taking hills and farmland. It's just minus one token to do it. Okay. Okay. Not quite what I thought it did. But that's fine. It should be able to mean I should wipe out a load of stuff up here with my super aggressive halflings. Oh, except I can't because of the sodding dragon. That's really annoying. Because not only does the dragon take it for one, but I then can't push further. Okay. Crap. That did not go in any way how I wanted it to go. I feel my hubris here has let me down. <laughs> I am about to get just... Yeah, I think I'm about to get seriously hurt. Yeah, I misread this. I misread this. Okay, they're going to decline. They're going to decline. Alright. So I've got a chance to mop up some of these territories. Maybe. Before he comes back and hits me again. So that for three. Then that for roll one. It's not great. I may have to go into decline next turn. In fact, yeah, it's next turn or the turn after, I think. He's going to come and hit me from the edge. Let's see what happens. Eight's not bad. Oh no, they went for the homunculi. So they got a lot of money just for picking the wealthy homunculi. It's a fun word to say. Right, how many... I don't think I've got many tokens left. 17. Oh yeah, because they got their bonus seven. They got their bonus seven. I can't keep fighting. I'm going to have to go into decline. I don't think I'm going to win this game, I'm not going to lie. I think I made a really poor choice at the start. Kind of rushing. But such is the way. You know, nothing to be done, nothing to be done. Right. I could go Sorcerers again. I could go Heroic Dwarves. I think it's boring, but I... I'm sorry, catapulting pixies. Once per turn, you're to catapult in a region you occupy. That is one region away, so you can catapult and pixies. During your troop deployment, all your pixies except one per they occupy leave the board. So you just get so many people. Just so many people. That kind of sounds fun. Uh, the historian dwarves will get me some bonuses for declined people on the board. There's lots of declined people on the board. And then the orcs will just smash. Yeah, that's it. That's the one I do. So there's loads of declined people on the board between me and him. Oh, I don't know if I get both of them. This is just mine. Okay. Well, that's all right. And I get... Now I just got to try and hit as many places as I can, as hard as I can. So I go there, I go there, and I try that one as well. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That was an okay turn. I may have redeemed some of this slightly. I should say that for the board game version of this, I, I have the base game. I don't have any expansion. So any of the expansion, races and adjectives, I've played them a bit in the app, but I'm generally quite unfamiliar with them. Hence... I get a little confused on some of them because 
beat them properly. Well, there's a lot of ones in the base game. I just kind of know because I've played it enough times. Right, let's hit them there and try for that. Oh no! Okay, so let's just defend my territories. They might come for me there. What turn is this? Six of ten. So I might get. Here we go. Is one or two more turns out of the orcs before I've got to go into decline. They're still pushing. Okay. That's fine. How many people will I have to play with this turn? Six, maybe? They're scoring really high. Really, really high. I've got five people. I'm going to use most of them just to do this. I'm... Do I go into decline? They're probably going to go into decline next turn anyway. They... There's not a lot they can do. Five, five tokens is not nothing. Let's have one more turn with them. One more turn with them. And then we decline the turn after. But they might... They, they're probably going to decline this turn. Now the question is, do I immediately go into decline and stay in track them, or do I try and... I would guarantee take one of them, and then I'd be rolling for the second I don't think it's worth it. Right, let's just decline. I still think I'm losing this one. I absolutely killed the first game, and this one... It's not looking good. What are they going for? Heroic Dwarves, so they will have two places that... I just can't touch them each turn, and the dwarves want mines. I'm tempted by those pixies. If I can mop up a load of territories just really quickly, we're Imperial Wizards. Let me look at the map. Let's look at the map. And I get there's one magic y place there. There is another one there. So it's possible I could, so it's possible I could get two of them. But it seems unlikely. Nine tokens. I I'm just say these catapulting pixies. What does Commando do again? One less one fewer token for anything. I mean, that's not bad. It's boring, but Max might be better. Let's do that. I hate the boring option. I wanted to show different different races each time. So let's just mop up a load of their guys. And they're all the way over there, so they're probably not going to get anywhere near me. And then, if they... Exp I'm never going to get to use the Sorcerer ability, though. Because what they can just do is they can have their heroic tokens on two of them and just bundle everyone else into the other tokens so that there's no chance I ever get to use my sorcerer ability. I'm kind of relying on the commando ability just for mopping up uh, other stuff. Again, I'm making rash decisions here. Really am. They're not horrendous decisions, but I am playing this too fast to be being sensible. Ten points isn't bad. Is that it? Good grief, it's over. I've lost. I've lost. Yeah, I got snapped. I got absolutely annihilated. Oh! One win, one loss. That, that's not. In the grand scheme of things, I could have played that a heck of a lot worse. Right, let's let's close the game and uh, do wrappings up here. So, 
Um, right. There we go. That's all sorted. It's popping stuff up. I don't want that. Okay, so. Well, thank you much for popping along. I will try out some other short um, tabletop games uh, over the next week or so. So I want to have some other stuff in the mix. I've played Suro twice. I've played Small World twice. I do want to play Ticket, Ro bleh, Ticket to Ride again. Um, I think... I just, I just want to expand it a little bit. The annoying thing is there are some good ones out there, but it is some of them are difficult to play because either they don't work on Mac or they don't work on 32-bit, uh, um, or they're just too long. So, But I, I'd like to keep mixing it up a bit. So we've got a few options on this one. Um, but thank you very much for joining me today. Um, doing the plugging stuff. So if you're a tabletop RPG person, which I think uh, most of you are, uh, I released Calvin Core um, the other day. So let me chuck a link to that for you. That is a very, very silly little game I've made, um, which is uh, sort of inspired by uh, Caltrop Core, which is a very sensible quick RPG system. I decided to make a very silly one. Definitely, definitely not inspired by any comics involving a kid and his stuffed tiger um, but the idea of the game is it's a simple rpg system you start off if you want to do something you've got to roll a five plus to do it but with every success or failure people get to write new rules for the game um which could be sensible like oh you get plus one if you do this or you can roll two dice if you do that or it could be really silly stuff like if you're doing a squeaky voice you get to you know roll again or you know, every time someone rolls the dice, they've got to, you know, eat a piece of pie or something like that. You know, the idea is it encourages very silly rules very quickly. So that's a dollar. So uh, please, uh, yeah, pick it up if you like. Should be a lot of fun uh, for people of all ages uh, and share it around. Uh, I think it just, should just be a lot of fun for various people, which should be cool. Um, what's going on for the rest of streaming? So this is my last kind of scheduled stream of the week, but I'm definitely at some point in the next couple of days going to do Tomb Raider. Again, I'm kind of hoping that will be the last one. I should be able to finish the game off in that session. Um, so that will be an evening this week, uh, to be determined. Um, and from there we go on to Max Payne 2. I also might do a writing stream. I'm getting into the flow of the writing of the stuff of Legends. So I'm currently working on converting a load of the cleric spells into priest spells uh, for that next Little But Fierce expansion. So I might do a writing stream. We'll see. Uh, it depends on how awake I am, uh, what time the little one has gone to bed, etc, etc. But I might. We'll see. Uh, uh, otherwise, you know where to follow me. Um, um, you know, uh, DC Bradshaw RPG. On Twitter, uh, DC at, bleh, at dcbradshaw.com, on Blue Sky, uh, Patreon and Ko-Fi at both DC Bradshaw RPG. Any Ko-Fi funds go towards the Tabletop RPG Creators Directory. It costs me about 15 quid a month to run that, so any donations are very gratefully received for that one. Let us see if there is anyone for the raiding. Um, as... Um, K of the double K commented earlier, not a lot of people about right now, so there's no one for me to raid. Uh, which means I think we're just going to wrap this up here. So have a great afternoon, uh, whatever it is you're doing, and I'll speak to you all soon.